And now, a can't miss moment from the Charlie James Show. So, Tim, did you say you would or would not go into outer space if you had the money? Um, you could go just up to the edge of the the uh, atmosphere now, there. I said and... I wouldn't have dinner in that orbit oh, <laughs> thing. Is what I said. It was the it was the balloon. Now, would I go to outer space? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yes, you would go to outer space. I would. Yeah, if I ever had the opportunity, I I would. No, I would not. Why not? I don't cause it's high. <laughs> yeah, it's but high. You're weightless in space. <laughs> Even worse, <laughs> you can't come down. I w- I would like to experience zero gravity. I I, I want to see what that's like. Well, they can actually take you up in a plane, and you can experience zero gravity oh, by dropping the plane. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's called the vomit comet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what the, that's how they train the astronaut astronauts. Yeah. They take them up in this this plane and they drop it faster than the human body falls. So you are weightless in space. Right. Right. And um, you can do that. Yeah. You could go to one of those skydiving school things where they have the big fan See, and they could they could put you up in the air. See, I can't do that, man. I, I don't like the heights where you look down and it looks like there's a whole other Earth down there. But like, yeah, I, I can't you would, do that. You would go into outer space. I wouldn't look. I wouldn't look at. There. What are you going to look at? <laughs> what are you going to look at in outer space? The stars. <laughs> there is no way. Okay, so you would. I go, have no fear to go to space. You but would I do go have fear to outer heights. space. Yeah. Would you go to the bottom of the ocean? No. I wouldn't either. No. 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 You couldn't pay me no. enough in to fact, go down there. There was a sightseeing submarine that was going to the. Uh, the crash site of the Titanic. Right. Well, you know the Titanic's gonna uh, it, like erode the rest of the way. It's gonna be gone. Well, yeah, soon. of course. I think it's uh, next year or something. No, yeah, I think it's, got, it's gonna be further than that. But I don't know. They can't find the sub. Yeah. See, not- it's a submarine full of tourists. One guy paid what I think two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. See what happened to is, ride on this thing? Is and- it went too deep. Is what happened. Well, they knew how deep they had to go to get to the Titanic. But they have lost contact with the submarine. Mm. And they've only got 72 hours of oxygen, apparently, on the, on board. There was a See? British biz- businessman, an explorer. He's among those in a submersible that went missing on an expedition to the wreck of the Titanic. The Boston Coast Guard is carrying out a rescue mission for the Ocean Gate Expeditions Tour Group which takes explorers to the depths of the Atlantic for $250,000 per person. Mm. Lieutenant Jordan Hart of the U.S. Coast Guard in Boston said that staff are currently undergoing a search and rescue operation. Explorer Hamish Harding wrote on social media that he was joining Ocean Gate as a mission specialist on the expedition. His stepson, Brian Sazes, shares concerns on the message and on social media saying, my stepdad, Hamish Harding, is on the submarine alongside a family photo from Christmas Day last year. He wrote, thoughts and prayers for my family. So they have uh, no idea where this submarine is. It's about mm. 400 miles, apparently, off Cape Cod. Oh, my gosh. And this is like, <laughs> this is like one of those deals where time is of the essence. they got to find these people. If, if I mean, they got to find them, period. Let's see, just, that's just, but that's just a crushing depth. Oh my god, yeah, dude. Like, uh, see, that's why I wouldn't go through that tunnel. <laughs> that's, that's why I won't go through that. Talking tunnel. about the tunnel. Yeah, I won't go through that thing because it's underwater. It's it's a fraction of the depth. It, even that still, we're talking it's still about. underwater. <laughs> it still kill you, drown you. But uh, um, I, don't I, know. I could save you the two hundred fifty thousand dollars. This thing is two thousand five hundred feet down at the bottom of the Atlantic, three hundred seventy miles off the coast of Newfoundland, and um, this is the uh, training and support. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars per person to go on that. Well, I could save you the two hundred fifty thousand. dollars I could do. Uh, I, I, I find a, a lot better stuff. I have a VR simu- simulator that will take you to the Titanic. How about that? Yeah, you can do it that way. Yeah, and, and so in the comfort things. of your own home, <laughs> with virtually no danger whatsoever. Exactly. But, but that being said, all of our thoughts and our prayers that go along with these uh, folks and their families 100%. because it's just absolutely. Uh, I mean, this could be 
a monumentally tragic event. Oh yeah, dude, I feel bad. I for hope their they families. find them. I hope they find them. Me too. I mean, it is it's running out. Like I said, they only had about uh, it was a, a, a ten day expedition. You leave from St. John's, Canada, and they have um, I don't know how many times they do it a year, but apparently this is not the first time they've done. Mm. So yeah, well. I mean, yeah, like you said, thoughts and prayers to their to their families. Yeah, absolutely. Um, to, to to Charlie, the um, the Channel Tunnel is actually under bedrock, so it would be virtually impossible for you to be crushed. I thought it did to take go the underwater. Ch- it does, but it's under the bedrock. Oh, there. okay. So there's okay. So I might do it then. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. It's a, it's yeah. completely safe. I have a I have an intense fear of drowning too. Like I don't want to drown. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Charlie, it's supposed to surface automatically in case of trouble. I didn't know that. Yeah, but there's, that. there's like huge sea monsters under the water <laughs> that they found. Like they, they found like the massive like squids that were a myth for like a long time. Yeah, yeah, them. the giant squid. Yeah. And then, and then and they, they found started, a whole school of them. And then they started finding um, whales Yeah, with the wounds from the giant squid. Because I, like you said, for a long time, that was just a myth. But and now they, if they're down there, what what else is down there? Uh, nobody knows. I mean, nobody I'm, knows. I'm just saying, the deeper you go, the bigger the fish get. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know. But again, tragic. Don't miss the Charlie James Show. Weekdays 3 to 7 on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D. The voice of the Carolinas.